the box wrench in this figure is used to tighten bolt at A. So that's our A. That's where the bolt is tightened. If the wrench does not turn, when the load is applied to the handle, determine the torque or moment applied to the bolt and the force of the wrench on the bolt. So basically it's trying to tighten bolt, but the bolt is not moving. So you need to let us see uh, what we've got here. We've got two active forces. Okay. And bolt, uh, the wrench is supported at point A. So that would be the reactive force. So let's see, uh, A is 2D and any support has got three reactive force. That got, you've got for a reactive force in X, Y direction and also the reactive torque. So let us see, can we move the bolt in, uh, in X, Y direction? Can we do that? No, no, sir. No. So we will have definitely, we will have two uh, uh, reactive forces. Okay. Uh, no, let me do this. Can I, can I do this? Or I have to do this. Which one I have to do? Which one? R1 or R2? R2, like the arrow that's pointing upward. So I have to do R2, eh? Yeah, because yes, I'm acting downward, so I take R2. Yes, no, I, I don't have to do it. I can assume any, I can assume this one, R1, I can assume that. But if I assume this, I stick to it, I do my equations, and the answer will tell me if the assumption was right or wrong. But yep. definitely, yes. If I see my two active forces are acting downward, then definitely I will have, I should have a reactive force upward. Hmm. Now, what about the X, Y? R1 or R2? Very, it's, it's, it's a bit, it's a bit uh, difficult to figure out which one because you've got two active forces. So now you can pick any. I, I, I personally think that uh, I cannot assume, uh, I, can, I cannot get, get a judgment out. So I will assume, so I let me assume R1 in that direction, okay? There's no common sense for, for assuming R1, uh, uh, to, for assuming reactive force in this direction, I just picked one, okay? So, uh, I've got two reactive force. Is there any third reactive force? The moment? The moment, yes, because uh, yeah. the, the ball cannot rotate. Yeah. So there will be a reactive force. So I can have a reactive force in this direction. Mm or I can have in this direction. So I can have R2 or R3. I can pick any one. Now, looking at the active forces, both are going downward and they are creating a clockwise moment. Am I right? Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. So I, I, using common sense, I will go for uh, R3. So my reactive force should be in this direction, R3. Again, if I pick this one, that's also fine. You have to well stick to it. But I'm using a bit of common sense and I will use R, R3 in this direction. So I've got two active and three active force. So my free body diagram would look something like this. I've got my two reactive linear forces and a moment reactive force. And I've got my two uh, active forces here. Gentlemen, find me the reactive forces and moment.
Um, sir, the uh, a x is coming out to be five newtons. Okay. A y is coming out to be seventy point zero. Point nine. Yep. A y is how much? Sorry. Seventy three point nine. Four point zero. Like it's seventy three point nine eight, so I just rounded off to seventy four point zero. And the moment oh. about A is coming out to be thirty two point six newton meters. Hold on, your A Y is uh, so your A X is five newtons. Okay, so that's what you're getting. Yep. And your A Y seventy four point zero. Okay, and what's the moment then? Thirty two point six newton meters. So is that what you're getting? Yep. Yes, sir. Okay, so let's look at the answers here. We've got our AX positive, so my assumption is right. Uh, I've got AY positive, so my direction of AY assumed is right. And my moment is also positive, so whatever I've assumed for the direction of the moment, that is also right. So I've got the individual, I can then combine them and get a single uh, force out of 